A very good morning to all. I hope you all are fit and fine. So today we are going to start exercise nine point three, that is related to story sums. So you all know what are story sums? Story sums are those that uh, that that you can relate in everyday life, right? That comes with a statement, and then you have you need to understand the statement, and then you need to solve the question. Okay. So very easy, same concept based on the concept of area of rectangle that is length into breadth, area of square that is side into side. So let's start. First question is find the area of a wall of a classroom four point five meter high and six meter wide. So what what they they are asking wall wall. This is a wall, right? Any wall you can see walls around you, huh? So you need to find the area of this wall. So what is given? Length and breadth is given. Simple. What you need to do? Area of wall of a classroom is length multiply breadth. Length is given four point five meter and breadth is given six meter. When you multiply, you get twenty seven meter square. Answer. Easy. Okay. Next question. Find the area of the top of a square table whose side is eighty centimeter. Again, what they are asking? They are asking to calculate area of a square table. Okay, top of a square table. So. What what needs to be um what needs to be focus here? What needs to be understand that the table is of square shape. So area of square is side into side. So we will put it in the formula again. Area of top of square table is side into side. That is eighty already given. Eighty multiply eighty that is sixty four hundred centimeter square. Answer easy. So again, what you need to understand the statement. Let's read the next question. What will be the cost of mowing grass in a rectangular field of dimensions two forty meter by one twenty meter at the rate of rupees ten per square meter? This question is um different, not different. Just they are asking one thing more. Okay, see what is the question they are saying that there is a, a rectangular field and the dimensions dimension means the length and breadth is two forty meter and breadth is one twenty meter. Okay. They are asking that you need to mow the grass. To mow the grass, one meter square cost rupees ten. So, what will be the cost for mowing the complete rectangular field? All right. So, first of all, we need to find the area of rectangular field. So, area of rectangular field will be two forty multiplied by one twenty. That is twenty eight thousand eight hundred meter square. So, this is the area of my rectangular field. Now. If I want to, if I want to mow the grass of my field, I need to mow this much area. Yeah. Now I know that the cost of one meter square root is ten. So what will be the cost of this area? Multiply ten. That is two eight eight triple zero rupees. You have to pay twenty eight thousand uh, two lakh eighty eight thousand rupees. All right. Clear. Okay. Let's read the next question. So let's continue with the next question. Question number four: Hundred bricks of length twenty four centimeter and breadth fifteen centimeter each are used to tile a path. What is the area of the path? See, understand the question again. What is given? They are saying that there is a path, okay, and on that path hundred bricks are required to tile it, okay, to make the path. And area of one brick is given. Why area of one? Because each is written up. <coughs> each is one. So area of one brick is given. What is the area of the path? So area of the path will be area of hundred bricks. Correct. So area of one tile, or you can say here brick also. Okay. Because in the book it is written brick. So area of one brick equals to twenty four into fifteen. That is three sixty centimeter square. So area of complete path. That is made up of hundred bricks. You remember I told you area of a shape is means space inside the shape, right? So area of hundred bricks will be three sixty multiply hundred. That is thirty six thousand centimeter square. Clear? Next question number five. How many tiles of length eight centimeter and breadth five centimeter will be needed to tile the floor of a dining space? Four hundred centimeter long and two hundred centimeter wide. Again, a very interesting question. See, 
what you need to do uh, dining dining space you know where you keep your dining table okay so uh, where you're keeping your dining table there you want to change the flooring okay you want to change the tiles you want to put colorful tiles or some some good ones tiles right so what you need to do you need to um, what is given you the area is given length and breadth is given and the air length and breadth of one tile is also given so i can calculate area one tile one tile means that i want to purchase okay the new tile that i want to buy so that area is 8 cm and 5 so area will 40 cm square and the dining space where i need to place those tiles that area is 400 length and 200 breadth that is 80000 cm square so how many tiles do i need simple we, we will divide now we will divide the area of floor of dining space by area of one tile so once you divide you will get the answer 2000 tiles so this way you have to solve the question you need to understand the statement see what is given how you can relate it to the formula how you can uh, how you need to find out what is what is the shape is a square or is a rectangle and you need to uh, you know put the logic right cost of one is given so cost of more will be multiplied right if you need to uh, find the number of things so number of things just you need to divide all right so this way use the logics and you will be able to solve each and every question okay so uh, try practice and i'm sure you will understand okay bye take care